This is a certified hood classic. Hey, Maria, I'm really busy right now. What's up? Hey! I was just wondering what time you're going to be done with work. Caleb got all A's on his report card, and I thought it would be fun to go out and celebrate. I didn't know that they gave uh, report cards to fifth graders. Well, Richard, he's in sixth grade. He just started middle school. All right, well, you know, uh, I don't know. All right, well, you know, uh, I don't know. What time are you done with work? Probably going to get done around 11. Midnight's the latest? Midnight? Do you plan on spending any time at home this week? No, uh, I don't like Caleb. Maria, it has been so good around here. You know that. Four people just got laid. Well, can you at least congratulate Caleb over the phone? Sure. Here, it's your dad. Hi, Dad. Oh. Uh, I got uh, all these on my report card. Nerd! Hey, buddy. Look, I gotta go, all right? Okay. Hey, what's up, bro? Bruh. Can we go to my office? I need to talk to you for a minute. Sure. Are you gonna be home soon? I wanna show him my report card. Boy, if you don't- He's just been working- <laughs> You're home early. Not bad choice. What does that mean? Hey, uh, I don't like Caleb. Honey, you've worked for that company for over 20 years. Well, they let me go. And they shut the whole factory down. I don't know what we're gonna do. I can always pick up extra shifts at the salon. Yeah, well then, who's gonna watch Caleb? You can. Yeah, that'll be awesome. I'm gonna make you a plate. Maria, I can't watch the boy. All right, I'm gonna be out looking for jobs. Okay, most interviews are done online. Come on, I can't do that kind of stuff. I don't know how the online thing works. Well, now that you're gonna be home more often, maybe you could learn. I doubt it. Bruh. God, just a thought of me. Watch, Caleb. Man, this is stressing me out. Remember the last interview that I went on? I don't even think they had computers. Okay, well what if, what if? No. What if you didn't have to interview? What if you started your own business? Nope. I mean, come on, okay, come on. I can't start a business. I mean, what am I going to sell? Well, I don't know. Caleb. Well, you could build something and sell it, like furniture or something. Times have changed, Marie. All the factories are all automated. They need somebody to understand the technology. Maybe you could learn. No. Hey, hey. Go. Super Mario in real life. Spaghetti! You know, I don't have faith in you. It's like my mom says, when things feel like they're falling apart, they may actually be falling apart. Well, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Well, and in the meantime, since you're home, you can spend some time with your son. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! What are we supposed to do together? I think you'll figure it out. Come on, Caleb. I'm a little busy right now. Playing computer games? No. I'm looking for a new job. I don't get it. Why do you want to work so much? I don't want to watch you. Well, I kind of hope that you don't find a job. And why is that? Because I like having you here with me. And why is that? Fatality. Oh no! My plane! Hello. But it's my favorite. Out of all the toys that you have, this one's your favorite. You can fix it? No. Let me see. If I fix this for you, will you leave me alone for a couple hours so I can focus? You can fix it? I can fix a lot more complicated things than this. I'm gonna go get my tools. Awesome! So 
the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to smooth out the edges, okay? Put on a little propeller. Just give that a spin. Put a little bit of this glue on there. Just hold it like that. Okay. Yeah? I'm too familiar with that type of software. But I'm a really quick learner. What the f? Oh, you want a rocket? Oh, yeah, actually. Oh! Dad! Dad, my train's broken! I am so sorry about this. Oh my god, dude. Everyone's coming over. Can you please fix it before he gets here? Can you just hold on for just one moment? Peter, what are you doing in here? I'm in an interview, and you're embarrassing me. Oh. If I crit another mother truck, not even crit, I'm so sorry. sorry. This, this guy, this, this, this guy, one kill. Dude, Thanks a lot, son. You may have just ruined that interview for me. Playing computer game? Bruh. I can show you where the mute button is. You know about this stuff? Of course. I know a lot about computers. Nerd! But I don't really know a lot about fixing things, so figure out what's wrong. No. I got just a second for it. Don't you need this if you're gonna fix it? I have something planned for you. Got you! <laughs> Not a chance! Helicopter! Helicopter! Hold up. Huh? What do you do? Amoos. Aw, man. <sighs> Let's play something else. Yeah, luckily I had enough wood laying around, so. Wow, this is so cool. Where'd you buy this? My dad made it. He can make anything. My dad made it. He can make anything. Really? Do you think you can make me one too? With my name? No. But I really want one. Dad, make Aaron one too. I have an interview with, like, right now. Playing computer games? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get him to make you one. So, hon, how's the job search coming? Not good. He's playing computer games. I can't even make a Zoom call work. Well, I mean, is that stuff you can learn? No. Well, how about I spend a little time with you each day teaching? No. Hey, guys. What are you doing here? <laughs> Aaron can't stop raving about that train that you made him. Wait, you made Aaron a train? Yeah, like the one that has my name on it. Oh, and my dad said that he's going to make me another train that has guns and rocket launchers and... On it. No way. <laughs> Ever since you made Aaron that train, my youngest son, Miles, keeps begging me for one. Oh, my dad can make him. Caleb, it's not nice to put words in people's mouths. <laughs> well, if this makes any difference, I'd be willing to pay you for it. And say, uh, $200? No. But I appreciate the offer. You'd be doing me the favor. <laughs> Miles' birthday's coming up, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> you change your mind, let me know, all right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Such a nice guy. Bruh. What? Bruh. Honey, if that's not Destiny slapping you right in the face, I don't know what is. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why not make toys? Oh, I don't know anything about that. Well, I mean, is that stuff you can learn? No, I am not a toy maker. Well, that's not a reason not to become one. No. I, I know all kinds of toys that kids like. I can help you. See, you've already got yourself a little business partner, Richard. <laughs> I don't have the time. He's playing computer games. Honey, you are unemployed and at home all day. I think you have the time. <laughs> okay, answer this for me. How many hours did it take you to build that train for Aaron? Bruh. I don't know. And how much did the materials cost in total? Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject. Math. <laughs> I don't know why. Bruh. Well, you were just offered 200 bucks for two hours of work. Why not give it a try? No. Please, Dad! Fine. 
All right, after you're done making me the new train, maybe you uh, playing Fine. Oh, and dollhouses. We need something for girls, too. Fine. The next day, instead of Caleb playing in one room and Richard playing in another, the two of them start doing things together. With Caleb's help, Sales start exploding. Well, I don't know what's a bigger reason to celebrate. The fact that it's Father's Day or the one year anniversary of your company. Believe me, I couldn't have done any of this without you guys. Yeah, Dad would still be trying to figure out where the mute button is on this video. Here is your gift. Look at that. The best dad I ever saw. It's a song. Did you get one of the guys from the shop to make it? No, we had someone else make it. The only person I know that's better with their hands than you are. Who's that? The person that taught you everything. Who's that? My goofy uh, uncle. Bro. Have a seat. When did you get into town? Uh, well, uh, Marie's been uh, been planning this for a while. I'm really here, son. You know, it's unbelievable that you're losing your job. I was worried about the company. It was only a put the money in a bag. Full, but uh, who would have figured it would turn out to be a blessing? I guess it's uh, true what they say, you know. You know, when things are falling apart, they may actually be falling apart. <laughs> Amen to that. And we actually just crossed a million dollars in sales. <laughs> How does it feel to be running your own company and 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 and, 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 and making all that money? Well, the money is great. It's probably the best thing about this business. Oh yeah. The second best thing. It's gonna spend time more with my family. <laughs> Thank you for everything that you taught me. The apple doesn't fall that far from the tree. <laughs> I, I might just move here and uh, uh, go to work for you guys full time. Uh, that way it would be a, a full uh, family affair. Please do that, Grandpa. I actually think it's a really good idea. No! Well, I don't know. You know, the price of houses around here is a little... Uh, doesn't mean that I can't build something. Could you guys really build a house from scratch? Hey, come on. There's nothing I couldn't do. Except putting a spreadsheet together. <laughs> That's something that I think these two would be yeah. great at. Yeah.